behold, the coach handbag. Beautiful lines, sweet contours, stitching unmatched. A zipper that makes the sweet sounds of elegance. Incredible quality and workmanship go into each and every coach bag. But it's not just about the genuine leather. It's about support, computer support. This is the data center in Karlstad, New Jersey. The lifeblood, the pulse, the beating heart of all things coach. This is where information is collected and shared. This is a living, breathing organism that needs to grow in order to survive. And that's exactly what's happening. The tech services team are in the process of expanding the data center here at Coach. So Kevin, why is Coach expanding its data center? Well, the primary reason is due to power. We have a 150 kVA UPS and a 275 kVA generator holding about... Is anybody following what this guy is saying? This computer system is so complex. Diesel fuel will only provide... Is it hot in here? I, I gotta get out of here. 92% utilization. That means at any given moment, we're subject to a power spike that could cause an outage. You see, the data center is running at maximum capacity. And there's a strong possibility in the future there could be a meltdown. Can you believe Brittany? Kev, the network's down. It's down? Down. You sure? Completely down. You it's never down. Ke Kev, the network is completely Are down. You sure? it's, it's down? Don't worry, the data center isn't actually down. But if it were, it might actually look something like this. That's why the expansion project is so essential. And that's why Robert Baxter, the head of some important department, is on the case. Hello, this is Robert. I'm out of the office on vacation this week, so I'll leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I return. Aloha. Now, welcome to Coach's Data Center. I'm here with Bob in Coach's data center, and Bob's going to share some things about how Coach runs its data center. Bob? Uh, my name's actually Brian. That's great. What's this wire do? These things are high. What are these? Can I pull this? What about this one? This one's awesome. Can I touch this one? Can I turn it off? This has been our data center for uh, over 10 years. Well, there's a lot of large computers that process everything related to Coach's business, from sales and inventory processing to purchasing and accounting and all the other good things that make a company run. And why would you be expanding this fantastic data center? Well, as I mentioned, over the last 10 years, Coach has grown tremendously. And if you look around, we have no longer got any available space to add more equipment. So we're now going to be expanding out through the walls over that way to roughly double the square footage of what we call raised floor, which is this floor that you're standing on. It What's down here? Can I touch any of these wires? How about these buttons? Come on, let me touch one of these. This one? This one, come on, this one. So don't touch none of this, right? Correct. Let's go. Serge Manassian is Vice President of Technology Services at Coach. So Serge, can I call you Serge? What goes into a project of this magnitude? Well, in addition to the typical technology aspects of the project, we've also been meeting with um, a number of outside consultants. Uh, we've had an architect involved in laying out everything from the space to uh, floor tiles to ceiling tiles, and an IT consultant helping us lay out uh, the actual rack placement, HVAC placement, uh, cabling placement, and on a weekly basis have been going through numerous iterations of prints and drawings and all sorts of design. I think we need to go a little bit more to the left. It's yeah, gotta be left. Right. 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 It's not going to work that way. Why ain't that going to concentrate here? project has uh, aspects of both facility and IT, and we're partnering very, very closely with the facilities team, Mitchell Feinberg and Bob Montavo. The overall project is being led by Robert Bata, our data center manager. Hello, this is Robert. I'm out of the office. So, Jim, tell me how the people have been handling the inconvenience from this construction project. I spoke to Jim Lanzano. He's director of client services. Yeah, this has been a major project here in Karlstadt, and we've had to you know, move a few people around, find some new space, move people to some new offices. 
Uh, some people were a little inconvenienced, but it wasn't a problem at all. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Kevin. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. We need to get that fixed today. Listen, do the trace route one more time. I need to make sure these servers are up today. All of Coach's critical data is stored in the data center. And one of the pivotal components to that are these tape drives, or large tape libraries with robotics in them, which back up all of the data. Could you please not touch anything? Danger! Danger, Will Robinson! This place is awesome! Danger! I support all of Coach's international offices from a technology perspective. They rely heavily on the systems in the data center to support their, their growing business. This project will enable that they can continue to grow at a high rate. I know that the tech services team is, is on top of every issue, every cable, every server, everything uh, around the clock, and that this project will uh, provide greater capacity for us to continue growing. You guys seen Robert? Oh, hi, Brian. Yeah, no, he, uh, Robert is actually in Bermuda. Bermuda? Yeah. Oh, lucky him. I didn't realize he was on vacation. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. What's this one? Part of the uh, data center expansion project, we've also been doing a lot of consolidation. We don't need this anymore because we stopped using it a couple of weeks really? ago. Really? So if you threw this out now, you could put another computer in here, possibly. That is correct. We'll be expanding the data center out this way. And basically... Why probably, hasn't it been done yet? Honestly, permits, we're waiting for approval for the construction plans. So you basically have not enough computers to function properly, and you're waiting for permits. Correct. Hey, Rob. Looking great. Vacation was good to you. Glad you could come in. So you got the design, you got the people in place. What is the next piece to the puzzle? Well, once we finalize the design and we agree on it, all the engineering documents and architecture documents need to be submitted to the local government, the municipality, and the local commission. This includes working with their representatives on getting all the paperwork filed in a timely fashion. <laughs> my friend, you know business. These are the consoles that we use to manage the computers. And you won't be able to guess the password. It's something easy like coach. <laughs> Really? No, it's not. I'm kidding. Let me, let me just set this one up real quick. Nothing can happen. This one doesn't look that important. Let me play with this one. Please, let me touch this one. Come on, no, man. No, no, no. Oh. Oh. This one, this one. Can I touch this one? That one you can touch. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Woo. See, I told you you could have a party in here. So the next time, you admire the craftsmanship, the elegant styles, and the pure beauty of a coach handbag. You'll also remember the data center and the men and women who run it. And say thank you. <laughs>